Awesome. Could we move on to the slider ribbon, this one. Okay, so go to extra RP and then try to select it. Press enter, cool. And you'll notice how the slider works. It actually goes right to the end of the screen. Exits on the left, comes in on the right. So what we need to do in order to mimic that is to expand the outer border. You see this blue line here? We're gonna drag, drag out that border to fill the entire uh, background, the entire container, just like this. And then we're going to orientate our text to be centered and middle aligned. Then next, we're gonna change that text into a dynamic panel. So right click, create dynamic panel, slider, I'm gonna call it a slider ribbon. Awesome, double click into it. That's state one, and then state two, I'm gonna add a state two. And all state two is going to be is similar text, it's a similar structure, but different text. So copy, go to state two, and then paste. Okay, awesome. And on. then we just need to change the copy. Copy, there we go. Now copy that, zoom in, press enter, paste. Uh, select the last part, con command underline by command U to underline and then close cool so now we have a dynamic panel which actually has two states next we need to make sure that this uh, dynamic panel operates automatically so the way we're going to do that is i'm going to go to interactions new interaction and we're going to move all the way down here there's a whole list of interactions that you can add to a dynamic panel one of them is called loaded so once the page is loaded the action that we're going to define is going to be kicked off the action that we want to define is to change the panel state of slider ribbon to the next i could say state two but i want it to cycle so i'm going to say to next and then i'm going to wrap from the last to first, which means it's just going to loop. Then the animation is such that it's gonna slide in, it's gonna slide in to the left, and it's gonna slide out to the left, that's right. That's how many seconds it's gonna take, cool. See, under more options, it's gonna, how many, um, so that's our the duration, so that's our duration of the animation. And then under more options, I want it to loop every, let's say every two, three seconds. So that's 3000 milliseconds. Let's say, okay. And that's it. So if I go back to the home page and I preview this, the moment it loads, count three, then the actual panel starts moving. There we go. Next, we're gonna look at the search. So the search is, is a bit more trickier than 